Hi, I'm Drew, Application Engineer with SKF. In this video, we'll be covering DC high pot testing and surge testing with a DX and a power pack. This video assumes you have already connected the Baker DX to the power pack. Connect the braided ground cable to a known earth ground point. Connect the test leads to the motor's stator terminals and the ground lead to a paint-free point on the motor's frame. If you have the optional foot switch accessory, connect it now. Power on the power pack and the DX. Verify that the voltage control knob is set to zero. As a safety feature, anytime the test leads are connected to the high voltage power supply, the warning lamps on the power pack will light up and the words, leads energized, will appear on the DX's screen. If for any reason you need to quickly disconnect power to the test leads, press the Equipment Stop button. This can be reset by turning it. Let's start with DC high pot testing. On the main screen of the DX, select the DC test. Select the power pack configuration. Select either thermoplastic or thermal setting, corresponding to the type of insulation being tested. Enter the stator winding temperature. Turn the test selector switch to the high pot position. It is important to note that only lead one will be energized during the high pot test. Turn the power pack's function switch to the 100 microamps per division position. Press and hold the push to test button or press and hold the foot switch if you have one. Smoothly turn the voltage control knob to raise the voltage to your first step. In this case, it's 10,000 volts. Press the step button to initiate the step timer, which by default will be one minute long. While the voltage is held at a constant value, the leakage current will diminish over time. If the current value falls below half of the lowest division, turn the power pack's function knob to 10 microamps per division. The leakage current will continue to diminish, and if it again falls below half of the lowest division, turn the power pack's function knob to one microamp per division. Watch the seconds remaining countdown. When the step timer is complete, return the power pack's function knob to 100 microamps per division. This will avoid an overcurrent trip when you increase the voltage. Turn the voltage control knob smoothly to increase the voltage to the next desired level. and press step. Again, adjust the current scale with the function knob as before. Continue this procedure for all steps. However, when you reach your final test voltage, press DC high pot instead of step. Again, this test will last for one minute by default. When the high pot test is complete, release the push to test button or the foot switch. Save the data. Return the voltage knob back to zero. Turn the test select knob to the leads ground position. The DX will remind you to do this. To ensure the test circuit is adequately discharged, maintain the ground connection after testing for the same duration as the high voltage was applied. Now we'll perform surge testing on this three-phase motor. On the main screen of the DX, select the surge test. Select the power pack. Verify that the voltage control knob is set to zero. Turn the power pack's function switch to the surge test position. Turn the test select knob to lead 1 and check that lead 1 is highlighted in yellow on the DX. Press and hold the push to test button or foot switch if connected. Slowly increase the voltage knob until the surge wave can be seen and then adjust the horizontal scale so that the waveform is shown across most or all of the screen. Slowly and continuously raise the voltage to the desired test value. 
in this case 14,000 volts. Turning the knob smoothly minimizes the effects of ramping on the pulse to pulse EAR. Release the push to test button or the foot switch. Select lead 2 on the power pack and press 2 on the DX. Turn the voltage control knob to zero. Press and hold the push to test button or the foot switch. Slowly increase the voltage to the desired test value as before. Release the push to test button or foot switch. Repeat the procedure for lead 3. Save the data. Turn the voltage control knob to zero and the power pack's test select switch to leads ground. And that's how you perform a high pot and surge test with a power pack and DX. If you have any additional questions, feel free to visit our website at skf.com forward slash EMCM and click on support. Thanks for watching.